My prayer is that when Peter Obi loses the election, he will help quieting the hype of issue, Professor Yusuf. Professor Husma Yusuf appeared in an interview on Arise TV today, where he spoke extensively on the security issues plaguing some parts of Nigeria. According to the professor, who is the former executive secretary of the NIS, the military will not be the military will not be the IPRO problem or the problem of the banditry in the northwest. The best way to handle these issues, according to him, would be to dialogue with these groups and iron out the issues with them. He also added that he hopes the Labour Party's presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, does not abandon the Southeast when he loses the election and we help quietening the hype of agitation. In his words, in his own words, as seen on Arise TV this morning. He said the military will not solve the IPO problem. They will not solve the problem of banditry. The civil authorities will need to go in there and solve the problems that they brought in. I think we understand this very well. Another thing is that the military and other security agencies do not have many boots on the ground. You cannot be buying to cano jets and throwing bombs from the sky when you do not have enough boots to man the ungoverned spaces. We need more boots on the ground to man all these places. How many policemen do we have and how many of them are guiding the big men? We need to reform our police. All I am saying, in essence, is that it is not the responsibility of the military to sit down and dialogue with these agitators. The elders should do it. That is why I say that the emergence of Peter Obi is a positive thing in this country. It's quieting down some of the agitations from the Northeast. Igbo youths are now seeing a pathway and my hope and my prayer are that Peter Obi, when he loses the election, he will continue to get engaged and quietening the IPOB agitation. And this I've got Nigerians talking. I pray you do not rig Obi out. The Nigerian youth are, will discipline you, not IPOB. Just say be a fair youth, Joe. And if they do anyway, the federal government will pick them up like goats one after the other. Back to saying that your prayers can never work because this is not good prayer for Nigeria. We need a new Nigeria and it's Mr. Peter Obi that will make it possible. Hmm, Mumu man, God will never hear your prayer because you are an evil man. You are not, you don't worry about the bandit, the Boko Haram and all the nonsense that is happening in the north. Now I pop you on a problem. Fake professor. You should be talking about the insecurity in the far north. You are busy talking about IPOP. The worst insecurity is in the north, articles, please. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. It's really sad, you know, when most of these northerners will come out and start talking about IPOP agitators as if IPOP agitators are their problems. They have deadly terrorist group in the north, and they don't uh, they don't talk about it. And the way they link IPOB to Peter Obi is really very scary and worrisome. Atiku Abubakar is from the north, where we have bandits and Boko Haram over there, terrorizing the country. They don't link him to it. They don't even say that, hey, if this man you no know, become Nigerian president tomorrow, these people, they will not still have more power to do what they are doing. Or take over the country as they are planning. They say they have an agenda and all that. They won't talk about it. But they will tell us how Peter will be and the IPOB agitators and all that. This have to stop. Oh. All the regions in Nigeria is boiling. There is no peace in this country. Even 
the north, the, the, the southwest, they have agitators there. They have Oduduwa Nation agitators. But funny enough, people don't leak Tunubu to them. But why Peter will be? Because Peter will be, we always tell them, see, what you are doing to agitators is not the way. The best thing to go about what is on ground is, is dialogue, which the Nigerian government is aware of. Even Atiku Abubakar, the PDP presidential candidate, is supporting. I've come out to say that if you win the election in 2023, that is this year, which the, the, the election will be taking place next month, that is going to dialogue with agitators. The APC presidential candidate said it also, that he will dialogue with IPOB agitators and every other agitators in Nigeria. So why is it that they are saying Peter will be own as a, as a case? Because he said that the way Nigerian government proscribed the, the group is not good. They are not terrorists and they have just said the truth. People are afraid to hear the truth because they are evil. When people say the truth, they will start using what you said against you because you have just spoken the truth. You have just told them the truth. That the truth you say, that is what they will be using against you. Now, he's saying that if Peter will be loses, that he will help you know, quietening the agitations in the southeast region. Who said so? Why are agitators agitating? You see, eh, some people, when they, they talk, say they're not the reason why. These people were agitated. Why did they start agitations? Because there is a reason why they're agitating. They have reason why they're agitating. Did you even bother to ask yourself, why are they agitating? So you say Peter will be, if he loses the election, then it will help to quieten agitations. See, Nigeria should get prepared for the worst. That is it. These people who have killed Nigeria, they are still re ready to do more. They have buried Nigeria. They still want to go to the grave and bring out, you know, the, 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 the bones, the dry bones there to grind it. Because what is remaining right now is dry bones. Nigeria flesh is gone. It has been buried. The dry bones inside the grave is what they are hustling now to go get from inside the grave to grind it and, you know, burn it to ashes. If time is not taken, there will be no more Nigeria.